Do you know why I pulled you over? No, sir, officer. You have a fake paper license tag. I don't know what you're talking about. I see these fake Texas tags all the time. I'm writing you up for a fictitious registration, no license, and no insurance. These are misdemeanors that could carry jail time. Objection! This whole thing smells like a Fourth Amendment violation. This is precisely what happened to a client of mine. He was facing possible jail time for several charges. I'll tell you exactly what objection I made in court and how the case turned out. But first, is this stop legal? We do this all the time. These Texas buyer tags are fraudulent. Is there anything in particular about this tag that looked fraudulent before you stopped the car? No. Have you ever compared a Texas buyer's tag that you think is fraudulent with a legit Texas buyer's tag? No. What makes you think this particular tag is fraudulent? I ran the VIN through Carfax. This car has never been to Texas. Isn't it possible that a dealer could be located themselves in Texas and sell a car that's located in some other state? Maybe. Fortunately, the judge in my client's case agreed that this was a Fourth Amendment violation. Now I gotta insert your typical lawyer disclaimer that every case is different and it always depends upon the facts of your unique case. The Fourth Amendment protects you, amongst other things, against unreasonable searches and seizures. What that means is if the police are gonna pull over your vehicle, they need to have a valid reason to do so. That's what's referred to as reasonable articulable suspicion that you've broken some law or criminal activity is afoot. If there's a violation of the Fourth Amendment, then the exclusionary rule means that any evidence the police obtain pursuant to that violation should be excluded in your trial. The key question in my client's case is if the officer had any particular reason to believe that that particular Texas buyer's tag was fraudulent before he stopped the car. Apparently, officers simply base traffic stops for these Texas buyer's tag based on their previous encounters that other Texas buyer tags they've seen have been fraudulent in their opinion. Here's the kicker. Other people were on the same docket with the same officer for very similar situations, and if they didn't properly object to the Fourth Amendment violation, the case would proceed and any evidence obtained by the deputy would come into evidence against them in their trial. This is yet another reason why you really need to have an expert attorney at your side, even if you're facing something like a simple no insurance ticket. Let's look a little closer at this particular tag issue. The tag that was on my client's car looked like this. It looks official, doesn't it? That's because this is precisely what a Texas buyer tag looks like. If you Google Texas buyer tag and you go to the Texas Department of Transportation website, this is the exact format this is what a Texas buyer tag looks like. This particular tag, I printed out from their website. The only way to know if a Texas buyer tag is legitimate or not is to run the registration number from the tag in the Texas buyer tag database. You cannot do it by running some Carfax report, which is a third party business, not a government database. How exactly do I handle this situation in court? First, I have to be sure to enter a not guilty plea. If you plead guilty, the judge skips over all this and he's just gonna say, okay, deputy, was he polite and cooperative? And he may hear evidence about if you fix things, but you're not gonna be able to address a Fourth Amendment violation unless you plead not guilty. Then when the officer gets to the point of his testimony where he says, your honor, I stopped the vehicle and identified the driver, that's when I have to get up on my feet and say, I object, your honor. Then I have to explain briefly the nature of my objection. And in this case, the point is, this is a Fourth Amendment violation I asked the judge for an opportunity to voir dire the officer, which means to ask some questions of the officer before it's technically my chance to cross-examine the officer. I wanna get into some questions about why he actually pulled over my client and basically to show the judge that the officer had no reason to believe this particular tag was fraudulent. This issue is precisely why the judge ruled in my favor Based on a Fourth Amendment violation, he suppressed further evidence and dismissed all charges against my client. For more on protecting yourself from the police, check out my next video on how to respond if the police stick their foot in your front door. I'll see you over there. And remember, don't talk to the police.